So Nina, why did we create the garden? So we can save the mono. Create the mono race station. Oh, mono sanctuary. For Keith de Cesare, inspiration struck after witnessing the Parks Department ripping out native milkweed. It's the exclusive host plant and the habitat for monarch butterflies. He wanted to create a protected space for those insects to call home. You plant the milkweed and they'll come. The Church of the Good Shepherd donated this corner, allowing de Cesare to create the Inwood Butterfly Sanctuary on a busy neighborhood street, planting pollinating flowers and milkweed. Before you knew it, we were inundated with monarch butterflies and the eggs. Three years into the project, de Cesare is still busy searching for new eggs and creating solutions for keeping the caterpillars and crystallis safe while working tirelessly to educate the community. There you go. You have a hungry caterpillar. Through this one little patch of beauty, de Cesare believes more than a hundred butterflies will hatch this year. This isn't just a frivolous project of raising butterflies and how wonderful that is. It's all that, but it's really more about truly, truly saving the, the, the butterflies from extinction. As more and more habitats are destroyed, de Cesare hopes he can help other New Yorkers build way stations in their communities, spreading even more awareness to the monarch cause. Anybody want to hold it? What started as a personal interest and a way to teach his own kids has quickly developed into a neighborhood hotspot. It became a, a place of a gathering for the neighborhood. Uh, people in the neighborhood are stopping by every day to, to check on the caterpillars, they're they're counting them, they're waiting for them to be released. De Cesare also created an Adopt a Butterfly program, encouraging parents and children to take home a caterpillar and watch it transform. By engaging the, the imagination and the interest of the children at a young age, uh, we're teaching them to be stewards of the environment, to be caretakers, to be responsible. For creating his own kind of butterfly effect, Keith De Cesare is our New Yorker of the Week. Pat Kernan, New York One.